Holy crap! I might have actually killed Lias uh, uh, anyway. Man, I mean, I can remember back when I was the uh, Prince of Corinth, the next town over, and I just uh, heard this horrible rumor that I was going to kill my father and marry my mother, so I immediately just left and, uh, you know, kind of exiled myself, thought I'd get by on my own, maybe in some other city. But then I found these band of thieves, and I thought, well, uh, if I don't do something, they're going to kill me. So I killed them in self-defense, so that way the courtrooms won't get mad at me. But somehow this just so happened to occur at the same exact place where Elias was killed. Man, I know I can clear my conscience by sending for the one man, a shepherd, a survive that I'd like strange to see you attack. Better. He will be able to... Mr. Oedipus Rex Tech King, sir. What? I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but I just had to come and tell you that uh, your father, Polybus, he's dead. The guys over at Corinth, they want you to come and rule this place now. And wonderful. Just wonderful. Maybe now I can get out of this town and go back to where I came from. And now I don't have to worry about having been the murderer of my father. But something strange still lurks in the back of my mind. That other half of that oracle. The fact that I would sleep with my mother. I certainly hope that never comes true. Thank goodness. It would seem as if the shepherd has arrived at long last. Oh, Oedipus. You do not need to worry. I mean, because you know, Polybus and Merope, his wife, not even your mother and father. I do have the story to tell you. You see, one day when I was out tending to the fields, another shepherd approached me and, uh, he had this baby, you see. He was pinned by the ankles and I just felt so sorry for it that I figured, hey, why don't I just take it and uh, have uh, Polybus and Merope adopted? After all, they've had so many miscarriages, it's just not funny. And that baby, his name was Oedipus, or Oedipus. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's not... But more on that later. Now, who did this particular shepherd serve? I must ask. Oh, I believe he was a servant of... Oh, what was his name? Laius. <gasps> I must have this shepherd brought to me at once. Yes, the shepherd. We've been waiting so eagerly for your arrival. Uh, may I ask why you have such a ginormous stick thing? Well, you must know, in the shepherd industry, whoever has the biggest stick has the most authority. Trick, of course, is to not have too much authority, you know, carrying like some big, huge tree trunk around. Then you'll flatten yourself, die, and then wish you had delegated some of that authority instead. But more on that later. We've got other news to attend to. Oh, I see, of course. Um, but more on that later. Why on earth would you say these things? I'm sorry I am not at liberty to, to disclose any of that information. Refuse to disclose anything? Why? Tell me now, or I will have you sentenced to an eternity of tickling in the infernal thingy of tickling that someone else is in charge of. That's why I don't know the name of it. Oh, please, no. Not that infernal thing of tickling garbage again. Fine, if you must know, the baby came from the house of Laius. And yes, it was the child of Laius himself. You see, they were told... This is so horrible. This can't be happening. How could a philosophy like this possibly come true? Oh, what's he gonna do next? Have some nice scream? Ah, oh yeah, that's rich. That was kind of impressive. Jocasta, Jocasta, what's wrong? I heard this in turn. Oh no. Uh, crap.
Oh, how could anyone picture such pain and human suffering? Quiet, you're making it less believable than it already is. <laughs> See what I tell you, about as far from believable as you can get. Shh, quiet, they don't have to know that. Though it's not that important anyway, you know. He exiles himself and Crayon takes over. But wait, wait that's important. Oh, whatever. He's so rude. Here, take my <coughs> crown. Oh, and be sure to watch out in June 2009 for Oedipus 3, Oedipus at Colonius. Yeah! <coughs> <coughs> hey, wait! Mars gave us some more advertising money, so now it's time for more Skittles commercials. So, buy some f***ing <coughs> Skittles! Uh, sorry, but I think we need something a little more, um, PG rating. Okay, try again. Skittles! Skittles! I love Skittles! Uh, third time's the charm? Skittles! Skittles! Uh, crap. Looks like this guy's a lost cause. <laughs> there, that's better. Skittles, open up your mouth to the rainbow. Uh, has that one been done? Aw, oh, crap. Skittles, we'll have some random verb and have the rainbow as the direct object, get sued by Mad Libs after we format it like this, and then go bankrupt. You don't sound very happy about that. Well, that's because I'm not. Ah.